Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe versus Wade, there's been strong reaction, as you can imagine, in Georgia and Tennessee from folks both for and against that decision. News 12's Brian Armstrong joins us live from a protest at Coolidge Park. Brian. They are protesting, and the cheers you hear are not from the decision made of Roe versus Wade. It is that they are fighting together, that they are cheering, and you can hear for a second what is going on in the background. They are saying they will fight and keeping your hands off of their bodies, but that is not the full consensus throughout Tennessee. Been a precedent for a long time, and I think that um, it's kind of crazy how quickly everything happens in Texas. Jill Zamore says she was surprised by the decision, but supports pro-life decisions. I was very surprised. How come? Uh, I really didn't think they would ever overturn. I'm against abortion. Tennessee Governor Bill Lee says today's landmark Supreme Court decision marks the beginning of a hopeful chapter for our country. Others like Molly Cossey says now that the right to choose has been taken away, she's worried about what this means for the future. They've overturned one thing, so now we're all kind of holding our breath, waiting to see what's next. Um, as a woman in America, it's infuriating that these people who don't even know us have control over our bodies. It's between you and your doctor. It's not something that I think should be um, policy. I don't think that policy within healthcare is right. I think uh, people should have access to the full spectrum of procedures. Kara Hicks with Momentum Network says we need to look past political opinions and work as a community to provide financial support for babies and their mothers. A large majority of women who have abortions say that they have abortions because they don't feel like they have the necessary relational support. While there is obviously a lot of division and debating around this very sensitive subject, we are trying to move from debating to collaborating. Moms for Social Justice just sent us a statement not too long ago saying we know this decision will not end abortion. It will make it dangerous and difficult to obtain for the most marginalized amongst us. One of the people here at the presentation has her earrings as clothes hangers to represent what could happen in the future. Reporting live, Brian Armstrong, News 12 Now.